Dude, we were. That was so cool. Did you see when I was hiding behind? That was a good game, Dude, I was hiding. I came out. Yeah, it was good. Dude, there was a full squad. Four. They took you guys out. I ended up get, catching. There was a guy on the roof. You got him on the roof. Yeah. He came down. Dude, I knocked, I knocked you, you all three. behind cover. Dude. It was good. It was good. Squad wipe. What are we talking about, John? A little bit of PUBG. All right. We were playing a little bit of PUBG. If you guys want to hit us up on PUBG Mobile, we're having a good time sometimes in this, uh, especially in this situation where we're not able to work as much uh, with the virus situation. So the lockdown. PUBG Mobile. What's my name? Oh, my name is Solar's Daddy. S O L E R S. Daddy, D A D D Y. Look me up on PUBG Mobile. We got John. He's like PG Soul. PG J Soul, Soul, Soul 2. Two. Anyway, if you guys want to play, we've already had a couple guys from the channel come on to PUBG Mobile and say what's up and play with us and squad up. So we sound like total dorks right now. Look, it's not Fortnite. It's PUBG. It's the, it's the real one. All right. Anyway, teach me grappling. What's up, guys? John, John has this game that he plays. And we want to show you guys a little bit part of John's game that he plays. I actually play it myself a little bit, but this is kind of recent. How long have you been doing this, John? Five months. Maybe. Five, four, five, five, six months, months five, whatever. Six months. He, he's been doing this. And uh, go ahead. I'm going to let you start and like try to talk about your position. OK. OK, so uh, watch this. How, how do you play your game? Uh, we play the game as if we're, in, if we're getting somebody's passing our guard or getting us in side control position. Uh, uh, creating another option, say they start coming up to side control, right? The conventional way that we're always taught, frame on the neck, get on the hit, make the shrimp, and start shrimping out, but sometimes that can be a lot of work, or we need to create another option to create some gaps. So when he's here and he's in tight and he's got me in side control and my arm's up here, I didn't get it in, he's staying tight, I'm fighting, I start shifting over and I start coming up, I make a frame, Hand, forearm, elbow, and I come in. I like to grab the back of the armpit. The other option is grabbing here, but the version that I do is I grab the armpit and I start sitting up and I start fighting. I also engage my right leg, kind of keeping everything nice and tight. And I'm maintaining good base and good position. My opponent's gonna be starting to come in and trying to grab my outside posted arm. And when he does, I start shifting. I start shifting. And as I'm shifting, I'm also starting to push weight. I'm, I'm kicking, I'm on my heels. I'm starting to lean and I want it. My goal is to get him to teeter on the side where there's no arm. And then I come up if I want to finish this, come to the side oh. control, stay tight, whatever I decide to do. But um, I've been having a lot of fun and a lot of success with that. Cause this here can be a lot of work. Yeah. Even getting push on the hip, I'm like, pushing, I'm like, shit. I'm like, Ugh. I'm trying to get away and I'm like, no. I set it up. I just sit up and I give him a hug. I give him a nice tight hug. I also pinch everything. I don't want to give him any space because he's going to try to pull out. And when he's trying to pull out, that's when I start making my adjustments. I'm just shifting, shifting, and I have good base and good post. Sometimes with the lighter guys, I'll feel that teeter. And he goes over on that side, and I come up. Whatever I decide to do. Yeah, once you get there, that's like it's all a, that pressure on the chest. It's a very good position. Modify Keska Tommy, it kill, kills me. So that's solid stuff. So let's go over one more time. Uh, we're here, right? We, we so I, I pass your guard, right? You pass. Maybe you had the guard. Had the guard. I push your legs or whatever, and I get, I get an angle and I get a position. I even sometimes I'll use this to kind of open up a little bit, just to shift my hips. And when I do, I make my transition. And then you do. You, I make obviously, my I'm sure a lot of people are gonna think, oh, I, I could just do this. But I'll, let me tell you guys, this is not easy. Like one, John's pretty strong. But it's not like he's way bigger than me. He's just putting him in a himself in a position where it's very hard for me. Like if he's here, I could do this and put him back down. So you're gonna adjust, huh? But once I try to get inside, it looks like I have it, guys. But I can't drive anymore. It's not that easy. It looks like it's easy, but it's not. Especially yeah. if I have this up here. And he's trying to drive forward. Brian trying to drive yeah. forward. Yeah, like, like I'm it's so I got, hard. I got a very strong yeah. position. I'm not leaving any gap here either. Right? I'm on that. I like this one. I just feel a good grip on that tricep, and I'm keeping this pinched here, and I have good post. Look at my shift. Yeah. Now you're getting there. Now, or sometimes nah. I just scoot back enough to where I can come around. Yeah, that's the one. Just right there. it depends. We might get the teeter. We might get the space and the sprawl. 
And we might just get the front chest to sprawl position. Yeah, that, that's the one when, when someone like stops it. Yeah. I will just come out to the neutral position. Yeah, let's just go. Neutral. Yeah, come, come, let me try. Let me get into this. So when you when you're passing, so boom, I'm like trying to defend, but guys, look, if I let him get my neck, neck control, it's like over, right? Like I'm, I'm getting control too much. This hand has to be through so that now I can expose and get up to here. And then now once I'm here, I can start going elbow. Even if you watch, try to go in for my wrist. Like there's no, I'm not giving any space. And and everything that you learn in this position, like look at my knee. Like if I if I leave it, it's all loose. He could do whatever he wants. He could even mount me right now, you know? Yeah, so I need to like pull my knees up and keep everything snug. And then now I'm like here. Now there's a lot of pressure on his body. Try to push me, try to get that on. I can't, too like close. It's, it's tough, right? It's tough. Now try to pull me back. See, if you pull me backward, now it makes me bring my arm back a little more. But now, now try to go in and get it. Yeah, see that? Come around here, Anton, and you can see some different angles. Keep trying to take me down. This is good practice, just to like, learn how to stabilize and get here. Try to move me. That's okay. And then now, like, you see how like, boom, I lifted my butt so that all of the weight went on him. I'm sorry, John, to do that so fast. And then now you guys are here, boom. You can go for your finishes. So, did we go over the uh, version with the hand on the thigh? Did, that no, that we, we didn't did. talk about it, but let's talk about it. The other variation. So, yeah, like sometimes you guys can grip tight. Sometimes, like if I'm here, guys, look, even if I can't get up, even if you go, oh, the guy's too, he, I, I wasn't ahead of the game. I was late to the party and I can't even get up. Like, just keep me down. Like, I can't get up. This is still solid control, guys. Like, I essentially have the headlock. That's the odd thing about side control, is that side control is one of the only positions where if you take side control and you flip it upside down, it's the actual complete opposite. If you think about it, no other position is like that. Like if John has the mount, he's mounted on me. When I roll John over, I'm not mounted on John. I'm not mounted on him, I'm in his guard. That's weird, right? When you think about it, like if you're on my back, John, and we flip over, you're still on my back. You see what I mean? But side control, all of side control, look like side control, he's dominating me. If we flip side control, I'm dominating him. So it's one of the only positions, that and north south, where you, you flip it and it, it, you go from the bottom all the way to the top. It like totally does this. Guard doesn't do that. Like if you're in the guard, you get flipped. Now the other guy's on top of you, it doesn't necessarily flip where you get a huge advantage all the time, okay? So of course guard goes to mount, but what I'm saying is I'm talking about when you're in the inferior position. You don't go to a better position, mm -hmm. you know? So. So, uh, yeah, so one more time, sorry. Okay. Sorry, you're, you're on top of me. Okay. I know I went off on a tangent, but <laughs> guys, that was deep, if you didn't know. That was deep. You guys gotta understand, side control. So what that, go ahead, come down. So I'm gonna get to the end of my point. But my point is, this, guys, is the same as if I was on top of him. The only drawback is, I don't have gravity on my side, it's on his side. So sure, you, people can say, he can hammer fist my face in a street fight. Right? So that, you know, all of those things. But you know what? Like, I can start bringing my head up. So if you started to pull your arm away, like, I can start coming up. So now you hug me, pull me back down. Hold me down, John. Okay? Now, pin me real strong with all your weight. Right? Now, can you hurt me? No, I have to control now, you. Now, what do you have to do to hurt me with your hands to hit hammer fist? I have to free him up. You have to free up your hand. And now I start getting up. So what does that make you do? I go back here? Yeah, because... If you continue to hit me, what happens? I get all the way up. Mm -hmm. So the, the applicability to real world self-defense is still there, guys. And again, I'm not suggesting you guys get into street fights ever, but, or, or like get in a street fight mm -hmm. and specifically try to end up on the bottom with this. But the point is, this is a grappling position you guys should start experimenting with and be familiar with. Brian, can you show this? Hold get, this position, but from the stand, if we go to neutral. From the stand. Continue to stand up and hold the head yeah. out. It's yeah. the same so, thing. See this guy's like, yeah, like I have here, 
And now let's say you were just to talk about that. I start to get up. Like, see, I can get up to my knee and you see, I still have the thigh. Now I can make a hip throw out of this, you know, and throw the guy down. And now we have a nice headlock, good pressure. Now who's in control? It goes from the bottom inferior position to a much, much better position, just in a quick move. And nothing really changed. It's the same position. That sounds good. That's yeah. really good for self-defense, especially if you're dealing with, yeah. headlock is common. Yeah. Always in every fight, there's gonna be a headlock. And you know what's so funny, is interesting about that, you saying that, is back in the day, guys, what you're taught as a white belt beginner, never go to a headlock. You're taught never grab a headlock, ever. You know, it's so bad because if you grab a headlock, like if he's here and he goes headlock, this is self-defense. Like just lay down your shoulder, lock your hands, boom. The guy's gonna go here, he's gonna get his grip, boom, and catch an armbar. So everyone learns that and then they learn never headlock. But do you notice? How can I do that move right now? Look, go ahead, John, hold me. Look, I can't, I can't just do that move. I can't mouth. Remember, that works in self-defense against a guy who's untrained. But now John's trained. Now go ahead, if I try to even do this, yeah, uh-oh. See, now it's a game. Boom, reversal, okay? It almost looks too easy, but Sometimes you're just gonna come out and get out front. Let's get out. And let's go over the uh, the creating the space on the sprawl. Did we yeah, do yeah, yeah. You did it once, I but did it once. that is important because some of you guys watching might say, oh, the guy's falling down too easy. I'm telling you guys, we've been practicing this, so it, it's pretty effective. However, you will have guys that create really good balance. So if John tries to pass my guard, okay, and then boom, as he comes here and I sit up and I end up here, what happens is, you guys start to make your journey here. And John, try to break me down. See, like it's tough and I'm keeping everything tight so I don't lose his arm. I don't want that left arm to come out. Go ahead. You might start pushing my wrist off or something. Yeah, then pull that arm out, push my wrist. Like you don't want this to happen. So I'm keeping it really tight. See, see with my thigh and here or holding here, whatever. And then now watch, I lift my butt as I'm rotating and sometimes I'll just bring this hand back to a wizard. Can you come to the side, Anton? Mm -hmm. Look at this. My butt's off the mat, and then now I can come back to the wizard, and he's still trying to drive into me, but now look, as I'm posting, I get back to the stall, and then I'm right there, okay? And then you can come, come to the, either the back from there, at least get a front headlock, a sprawl. sprawl. It's still a possibility. Dude, the headlock, see in wrestling, it, it gets, it gets the position changes really fast and it doesn't look like this that much because of the point system of wrestling the takedowns and the back points but in jiu-jitsu we don't worry about that or in grappling we don't worry about that we don't worry about really uh whether a referee's going to throw up the two points we just care about the control point and the point is even with you in this position like in wrestling their coach is telling you let go of the headlock because he's going to get back points but if you're not worried about that and you just kind of rock yourself up, like I still don't have the complete control to pin you. You see that? And now if you keep getting your hips out, like it can create a scramble and then he can get to a sprawl and then bury my head and then get a nice go behind. Dang. That's solid. That's a good drill. Just yeah, practicing that. Right? Yeah. We'll go over that drill. We're gonna we're gonna do not that live. Way. We'll do it more. But it's, yeah. it's so funny when you start teaching, you start going, wow, this is really good stuff. We need to start doing more. Like John and I both do this, but we're gonna start having all of our guys do this. Okay. Anyway, yeah. hope you guys enjoy. Thank you, John. You're Thank you. Good job. All right. PUBG Mobile, hit us up. We'll squad up together. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and Click the links down below in the description box. We have the Patreon account. You can also donate through PayPal if you like this video, if you learned something. This is a free YouTube channel, of course, just like most YouTube channels. But we also have a donation uh, uh, way for you to contribute so that we can continue to bring, the, bring you this awesome content. Instead of having a pay site like a lot of places, they use a uh, some type of pay site and they give you great stuff, guys. They give you great stuff. But so do I. I try to give you my best. 
So if you can contribute, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, and we'll see you guys more next time. I can't even speak. I'll see you guys next time with more great stuff.